Hey everybody, how's it going? For today's video, we'll take a look at a limited series featuring this beautiful Alfa Romeo 4C. Alright, so for completing this limited series, you get to win the car if you don't own it. Uh, in my case, I already own this car since it's not a new car in the game. Um, but the car is worth 200 gold if you're to buy it outright. Although there's a, currently a 50% discount offer going on in this car. Um, so that brings the cost down to 100 gold, but don't buy it. You can... 50% uh, discount also applies to the upgrades on this car as well. So um, if you take advantage of that, actually, you can uh, win this car for less than that. Um, that which is typically the case. But anyway... Um, so under normal circumstances, it is going to cost you 200 gold, 160 gold with a showcase discount since uh, this car is featured in a bonus series with some other cars in the pro section of the game. So yeah, I mean, it's one of those uh, earlier stage in your game car that, uh, you know, if you, even if you haven't been playing for a while, I feel like this is a good opportunity to add this um, beauty to your garage. So, um, yeah, so you get to win the car, and of course you get to pick up some victory points, 50, 250, the usual limited series victory points um, at stake here, plus 30 gold and 80,000 racing dollars. Now, um... This car's PR, base PR starts at 29.4, maxes, uh, maxes out at 49.9, and it's only featured in a single bonus series. So, with that being said, it's not the most useful car, but, you know, it's one of those things. Um, this car is currently featured in this week's weekly time trial. So if you take advantage of that 50% uh, discount offer, fully maxing out this car's cost comes down to just 150 gold. So it's still cheaper than buying the car outright in under normal, normal circumstances, right? So um, with this car fully maxed out this week's time trial, you should be able to fairly easily land rank C. Uh, the 50 gold reward so that brings sort of a net cost down to 100 uh, just from that and of course there's also the 30 gold that you get to win from the limited series so that brings the ownership cost down to 70 gold right and then of course if you own the other cars featured in the single bonus series this cars featured in uh, 2 by 4 um, then there's another 64 gold that you can win if you have this car fully maxed out, which means um, your net, co net cost of ownership of this car is 6 gold. A fully maxed out car. That is, um, I don't care what um, class car it is. I mean, that's, that's affordable if you ask me. So, a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. And if you cannot afford 150 gold, because that is the sort of a cost to max out this car, you can still uh, win this car for the cost of 93 gold right now with the 50% discount going on. So, uh, and, you know, you have seven days to complete it. 15 tiers, 45 events, right? So let's hop in, take a look. Alfa Romeo 4C Competizione Limited Series. I know, beautiful Italian, right? Earn a Alfa Romeo 4C Competizione by 100% completing this special limited series. This lightweight mid-engined mini supercar is Alfa Romeo's uncompromised driving machine. It's a little speedster. Anyway, so here's the breakdown of the 
uh, rewards, uh, completion rewards broken into 25% uh, increments. So uh, the total rewards available here, uh, obviously 30 gold and 80,000 racing dollars and 5,250 victory points. So the first 25% completion will earn you 750 victory points. 5 gold and 8,000 racing dollars. By the way, with the 5,250 victory points, um, regardless of where you are currently in your victory points, that should at least get you 25 gold um, rewards from the round hub bonus, right? Which means your net ownership cost is actually you come out ahead by running through this series with a fully maxed out car. I I say that's a, I mean, given, you know, that's a bonus. You come out ahead. How could you resist, right? So anyway, uh, the first 25% completion, of course, you need to get to the tier four, uh, which requires PR 35.6. Um, so that's what's required. And you cannot get there without using gold your racing dollar only up, uh, PR on this car is 34.5 so you're you know a uh, good distance away from uh, what you're gonna need to 25% complete this series and then the 50% completion earned you another thousand victory points additional five gold and 16,000 racing dollars and that you need to get to tier 8 um, you don't have to complete tier 8, but you need two gold trophies in tier 8, which means you need to complete tier 7, which requires PR 38.9. And then the 75% completion reward is additional 1500 victory points, 10 gold, and 24,000 racing dollars. And that you get to claim in tier 12 upon winning a gold trophy here, which means you need to get through tier 11, which requires PR 42.9. And then of course, the 100% completion, if you don't own the car, you get to win the car, plus 2,000 victory points, 10 gold, and 32,000 racing dollars. And for that, uh, you uh, need the said PR requirement which is 47.2 so let's confirm 47.2 and yes there is uh we're sort of back to the old format um where you get a full 24-hour instant service and instant upgrades uh available on this car upon completing the first event so 24-hour instant service is definitely a nice nice bonus so yeah um now so those are the numbers associated with this event and the car so uh for the remainder of the video we'll just kind of go through tier by tier see what kind of event we are expecting to see so tier one we get autocross at Nurburgring Grand Prix. Yeah, autocross at Nurburgring usually is not short. Uh, then we got endurance at Dubai International. Uh, your distance, target distance, depends on your margin of victory. Uh, then we got a cup at Hockenheim Grand Prix National. Grand Prix National, I mean Grand Prix Circuit. It's gonna be, we're gonna be starting off with a two lap Grand Prix Cup. A night race so that seems like it's gonna be the la uh, longest event in tier 1 so I'll probably start with that uh, since the instant service offer gets triggered at the end of that first upon completing the event right anyway uh, moving on tier 2 we got speed snap at Bugatti circuit um, that's a fairly lengthy speed snap event isn't it because you kind of have to get through the like last one two three 
four corners, I think. So yeah, um, and then we got a drag race. Uh, you guys know what I think about drag race. Well, this one takes place at Catalonia Grand Prix. And then tier two cup is gonna be at Daytona Road Course, sunny Florida, three laps, PR 32.7 required, and it will be a uh, rolling start as these events at Daytona generally are. All right, tier three, we got elimination at Berlin, uh, Hunter at Spa, and Cup at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. So three laps, that's a pretty short one. PR 34.3 required. All right, moving on to tier four. We got speed record at Manla Junior Course. So that's a short lap, followed by head to head at Hockenheim National, another short single lapper, right? And then the cup is gonna be at Mount Panorama two laps with a PR requirement 35.6 so with this car two laps around Mount Panorama I don't expect that to be a short event but certainly not the longest all right moving on tier five we got autocross at Bugatti circuit endurance at circuit of the Americas club circuit and the cup at Nürburgring sprint circuit Three short laps with a PR requirement 36.8. All right, moving on. Tier six, we got elimination at Silverstone National, speed snap at Laguna Seca, and the cup at uh, one of the slowest circuit in the game, Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit. Three laps, it's short though. PR 37.9 required very technical circuit i do enjoy that circuit um, although could get a little claustrophobic <laughs> very narrow I, it's not a street circuit but it, it is you know pretty narrow anyway uh tier seven head to head at mount panorama single lapper as they tend to be and then we got the second instance of a drag race, this one at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. And followed by the cup at the Brickyard Road Course, three laps, PR 38.9 required. And on to tier eight, we got speed record at Daytona Road Course, which is not a rolling start, even though this one is at Daytona. Uh, Hunter at Hockenheim short, so that's a short lap, followed by Cup at Dubai National. Four laps, PR 39.9 required. All right, tier nine, we got endurance at Porsche Test Track Long On-Road Circuit, followed by Autocross at Melbourne. And the Cup to get through tier nine is gonna take place at Bugatti Circuit, three lap Cup, PR 40.9 required. All right, tier 10, we get elimination at Mount Panorama. Head to head at Suzuka West, single lapper, followed by the Cup at Berlin, Formula E circuit, four laps, PR 41.9 required. All right, moving on, tier 11, we got Hunter at Manza Junior course, so short lap, speed record at Hockenheim short, another short lap, and then Cup at Laguna Seca, four laps, not the longest of circuits in the game, PR 42.9 required. So yeah, all the, you know, Cup events, not terribly exten extensive I mean you know with this car kind of expected right anyway we got speed snap at Melbourne to kick off tier 12 followed by autocross at circuit of the Americas national circuit and the cup is gonna be at Catalonia Grand Prix three laps PR 43.9 is required Tier 13, we got head to head at Porsche Test Track Short On Road Circuit, single lapper, 
followed by Elimination at Silverstone Grand Prix. And the Cup at Spa, this one, I missed that, uh, three laps maybe? Yeah, PR45 required, pretty lengthy circuit. I think that's the so far the longest uh, race. Um, but tier 14, we got a cup at Suzuka Grand Prix, most likely three lapper as well. So I expect that one. Huh, is Suzuka, I don't think Suzuka is as long. Yeah, it's definitely not as long as Spa. So tier 13, I would say, is still the longest uh, tier. But uh, we still have endurance at Red Bull Ring National Circuit. So that depends on your target distance, depends on your margin of victory. And the uh, cup or the speed record at Hokenheim short. So that's not too bad. A short single lap. And that takes us to the final tier where we got speed snap at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit, autocross at Mount Panorama. And the cup at Melbourne, five laps with a PR 47.2 to wrap up this event. So there you have it. So I'll have all the numbers that I went through, like upgrade cost and the PR requirements and whatnot in the description box below as usual. So uh, yeah, check those out and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.